Hey there YouTube, it's me Nikki30MD. I am coming with an update video as well as a shopping haul um, review and display, I guess you can call it. Um, the last time I did a video, I told you guys I was going to be um, putting some new uh, weave in my hair, which was, was going to be uh, this Harlem 125 Kima um, product. It is a deep water, deep water human hair, 100% human hair weave. Um, it's 14 inches in a number two. I did not put that in my hair because when I took out the Lust by Equal Free Trust, my hair was very thin. Um, about a month and a half ago or sometime in, the, in March, in the end of, not the end of March, the first week first week of March, second week of March, I put a texturizer in my hair and then I put the Lust um, weave in my hair after that. Um, not the same day, but like maybe a few days later. Um, when I put took the Lust out of my hair, my hair was very thin and there was a lot of um, where it looks like my hair was natural at a certain part of the root and then the ends of my hair were so thin like and to this day, it's been about a week since I've taken out the lust, um, maybe a little over a week. Since ever since then, yeah, it's been. I think Thursday will be two weeks. Today is um, Tuesday, April nineteenth, and Thursday will be two weeks that I've had it out of my hair. And when I took it out, um, my hair was so thin and it was shedding so badly, and also a big ball of hair came out. Um, in total of what I combed dead hair I combed out of my head so basically my hair is thinning and I did not feel comfortable to put more weave in my hair at this point so I have been um, taking some vitamins some hair vitamins I've been taking um, putting using um, do grow hair grease with the vitamin A and E in there and um, on my edges and just keeping my scalp greased and everything and I'm just gonna be treating my hair for the next month or so um, so I didn't put the chemo in my hair. After that, um, I've just been wearing wigs. One of them is over there. That's, um, Romania Girl from Janet. I think it's Janet Collection. And currently I have on my hair a wig that everybody has been filling. Like, I don't do short hair styles, but now I'm really considering, now that I'm a little bit older, I'm actually considering to do some more short styles like this because everyone just seemed to have loved it. This is by Janet Collection. It's the Jasmine wig and a TTF 1B30. So I'll hold that up so you guys can see. Hopefully it's not backwards. Um, and I'll turn around so you guys can see this hairstyle. And also I'll take my sunglasses off so you guys can see it too. That would help. Now this is a wig that I've had for probably mm, over a year and I have never worn it because like I said I'm not really into the short hairstyles. Um, I had planned on giving them away to either my mother or my girlfriend because well they are they're not really they're, they both have natural hairstyles and at the time they both were um their hair was really short. My mom is growing um, sister locks and it's much longer now it's been over a year but um she had just started and you know she was like wanting to go back and forth with something so I was going to give this to her and then you know I thought oh my other girlfriend's going natural so I'll give it to her she started but I ended up keeping it for myself and lo and behold it didn't go to waste um okay so basically that's what I have in my hair right now Easter is coming up this weekend I was supposed to be braiding my hair on Friday into Saturday or just on Saturday with um, micro braids. I still have not decided whether or not I'm going to do that um, simply because with Easter, um, I'm thinking this wig is very cute and I would love to rock it on Easter Sunday. So um, I don't know. I haven't made the decision yet, but this would be the weekend that I would need to braid my hair if I'm going to do it because I'm busy for every weekend up until May 15th. Um, okay, now with that said, I want to begin with my um, fashion haul. I'm going to start with um, 
a purchase I got from the Fashion Junkie. This is a eBay vendor, Fashion Junkie Incorporated. Um, basically, they have their own website, but I've seen their products in store on eBay as well. And for probably three months, I have been eyeing this jersey that had been out of stock. And then it finally came back. I just happened to check the website, and it, and it came back as back ordered. And I just went in, put my order, paid for it, and that was sometime in March, and they mailed it out in April. So I ended up getting that last weekend. So I'm going to show you guys that I didn't take it out the closet, of course. This is the jersey. Oh, you guys know me in this direction thing. Okay, this is the jersey. It is called a Victoria off the shoulder or one shoulder jersey. It has a banded waistline and um, this, this is supposed to hang off one shoulder. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that it's by the fashion junkie. Hopefully you guys can see that. Fashion Junkie is who made this shirt. And um, it was about $26, I want to say. And I wanted it so badly. So badly. This is basically when Black and Yellow came out, the song Black and Yellow. And I was planning to get liquid, oh, sorry, liquid leggings and liquid black leggings and this and some yellow pumps and just rock my black and yellow. But even though the song is gone, basically, you know, came and gone. I still wanted this shirt, so I, I got it anyway. All right. Next, I, um, about two weeks ago, everything was two weeks ago. Um, two weeks ago, I got a little email from Fashion Bug. I love Fashion Bug. Um, it was spend fifty dollars get a free T-shirt, and just so happened I had another email from them earlier in that week that said ten dollars save ten dollars if you spend seventy five. Well, I ended up spending one hundred and thirty, so I ended up getting what did I get? I got free shipping. I got half off of a pair of shoes and ten dollars off of my purchase and a free T-shirt. So that was a good day needless to say not to mention i love everything i purchased which i'm about to show y'all guys right now first thing i'm going to start with is the free shirt get that out the way it was really nothing special um about this shirt whatsoever but it was free so of course i'm going to um get it um, for those of you who have family members or loved ones in the military, you know that on Fridays it is traditional to um, wear red. So um, at my job, we wear, wear red for um, to support our troops and everything. And so um, I didn't really have a lot of red um, short sleeve stuff for the warmer months. So I chose red. This is the shirt. This is the shirt. It's just a plain t-shirt. I think I'm going to stand up and bend and all that good stuff for you guys. Um, they had a choice of V-neck and scoop neck. I chose scoop neck. I don't do V-necks. Um, it just reminds me of my godmother who always used to wear V-necks and you could see her boobs and so I don't do it. I mean, I might wear it, don't get me wrong, but it's very rare that I'll choose it consci consciously by fashion bug. It's a large. And like I said, this was free. I think the regular price of this shirt is $11.99. $11.99. Okay. So, now we've got that out the way. Let's go to what I actually purchased. And, guys, I'm going to get this camera one day. I'm going to get it all right for y'all one day. I purchased this shirt. It's just a purple blouse and it has um, some beaded detailing. It's really cute. It's also banded at the waist and um, should know what I paid for things. 
without looking. This shirt is con called the Embellished Tank, and it was $16.95. $16.95 for this shirt. It's really cute. It's something that I could wear in the um in the summer. Now that it's getting warmer. It is the material. Uh, the material is no one I need glasses. Need my glasses actually. 52 percent well, yeah, I really need glasses. 92% polyester, 8% spandex. So that's my shirt. Oh, and original retail price was $24.99. I think it was on sale. Well, it had to be for me to get it at that price. I'm not going to mess with the camera. I almost tried to adjust the um, clarity. Next, I bought a maxi dress. And it looks like this. I'll show you guys the strap first. And then that's the top front. How the top front looks with the straps. And this is the dress. It's very long on me. Even now, well, of course, with no shoes on, it comes past my ankle bones. My ankle bones. So it's a very cute little maxi dress, just a simple black dress to wear in the summertime. I like maxi dresses. I don't know if I'm alone in that. Maxi dresses are very cute. And, oh, I did not tell you guys how much. The original price of this dress $29.99. I paid $20.34. Well, yeah, because they took all the money, the, the discounts and money and stuff off. So, but yeah, at the end of the day, it was $20.34. But I think it was on sale that day for $26.99. Here I am again, not looking at you guys. Um, The next one is also a maxi dress. It's one of those tube top deals. So you get to see it's a tube topper and then it's long. And the difference about this one that I really like, if you guys can see that, it's ruffles in the front. It's ruffles in the back too, but it's a single line of ruffles. But in the front and side, it does that little, um, like a little Latin um, flavor to this, to this um, maxi dress, and this one, it was also twenty nine ninety nine, and I think I it discounted to twenty dollars and thirty one cents. So that is all of my clothes, and now that I've done this video, I can hang things up. Get my chair. Lastly, I bought two pairs of shoes. They were buy one, get one 50% off. And huh. the first one are some black. I'm trying to get better with the heel thingies. So they're kind of like a tall heel. If you, oops, if you can see that, probably this one is best. You can see that the front is like almost like a little bit of roses going down the front, but it's not roses. It's just like something. Peep toe at the front. The hill looks like this. Wait. The hill looks like that. So they're, they're really cute too. And, oh, there's a tag. Retail price. $24.99. I paid
waterfall peep show peep toes that's what they call it peep shows waterfall peep toes i paid 1880 1831 and basically to be honest it was like 1350 because they were originally 24.99 and i got half off of one of the other pairs so i think it was like 1350 for the shoe but the way the discount um registers it it was 18 something we know that's not true well i'm telling you guys it's not true lastly i got another pair of shoes i have some similar to these i think i got them from target last year this is um like a, I don't know what you call it, metal, metal lined um, buttons, and um, it's a crisscross strap. The heel looks like this, and the front is also peep toe sandals. Very cute. I would model them for you. The ones I bought last year from Target, they're kind of old now. They look like this. I wore them today, actually. The heel looks like that. And they also have the little metal buttons on there. Um, these were by Acceleration, so I think that is Target. Um, I think these have a tag, too. Just don't see it. Okay. I don't see the tag for this one. Nope. I don't see it, but um, the way it registered, it was like eighteen dollars and thirty-one cents. So um, basically, it was a good deal, right? You guys think I got good things, a good deal on everything for a hundred bucks? Two dresses, a shirt, a free shirt, and two pairs of shoes. I don't think I can beat that. Um, maybe some places, but just randomly deciding to follow through on an email. I think I did a good job. Okay, so that's basically what I wanted to show you. And I wanted to update you guys about my hair. Let you know that I did not put the hair in my hair. And also, I think I'm going to put this in the third. The third. Actually, no, I'm not. If I don't braid my hair in micro braids, I'm going to put this in my hair the third week of May. Because I'm going back to Virginia Beach the uh, Memorial Day weekend. Whew, I shouldn't tell you all that. Don't don't chase me. Don't hunt me down. Not not you YouTubers, but you know some people will do that. Um. Yeah, I don't know yet because I'm really trying to um get my hair hair on track. It didn't have to be back to where it was, but on track at least so that I can strain it a little bit. I'm hoping that human hair against my human hair is going to be better than the synthetic was to my hair and that the shedding, I'm sorry, thinning does not happen again. I've never known my hair to thin and I'm getting too old to be having thinning hair. But I mean, it's not bad. It's just like, wow, it's, it's, it's a warning. I take it as a warning to, you know, hold up. That's what my hair is trying to tell me. So, um, right now I just, you know, I grease it and massage it twice a day. I take the vitamins and I am just, oh, and I cut my hair. I cut all those, um, those thinning ends off. So it's like, yeah, it's, it's definitely time for me to get on that because, you know, I really have planned to leave the front of my hair out with this one. And I can't do that if it's really, really thin and I can't, I, yeah, I'm not just going to tear my hair all apart and, um, you know, just, I mean, I didn't revert it back to wigs because it all needs to be covered up. Um, and the wig cap, I'm not cool with that because I think that dries out the hair too. But anyway, I'm not going to keep on rambling, but that is what happened to me. And um, I'm taking care of that right now. So um, just wanted to update you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderfully blessed um, Resurrection Passover Easter holiday. And um, I look forward to doing more videos and updates with you guys. If I get a new short wig, I'm going to do a review on that because everybody seems to be feeling the short look. Um, my son says I look older. I am older. Don't tell him. Um, 
my coworkers say it just looks really, really good. Really, they're like, I mean, lots of people said it. And I was shocked. I mean, I wonder what I look like before. I'm not even. <laughs> but, you know, when people tell you things, you have to think, okay, maybe this is something I need to really consider, take into, um, you know, consideration or whatever. And I might just be getting another short wig and just start rocking it because pff, there's nothing bothering me. Believe it or not, there's nothing to scoop back. There's nothing to comb every day. And it just feels really good. You know, I see why people cut their hair. Oh, my son did say um, the reason why people are loving it is because, you know, when uh, on the game, the TV show The Game, when Melanie cut her hair, everybody was feeling that. So it kind of does remind me of Melanie because it's real short compared to what I did. And, of course, some people that I work with actually thought I had cut my real hair off. And so I'm like, no, <laughs> you know, you won't um, label me with having told you a lie that, you know, the stuff before was my hair. Anyway, I'm not going to, um, ooh, I'm already at 21.10 minutes. So I'm going to have to figure out how to cut this really short, how to um, cut this down. By five minutes. But anyway, you guys, I love you. Take care. And I hope everyone have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and holiday.